now. Without me, the great green prophet would have died as one of the loads of boys on Earth. But then, he got shot in the head fighting the Umis, and his mate brought him to me. That's when things got interesting. After me, improvements. Gasco Flaka started seeing things. Visions of the green gods Gork and Mork. They told him stuff about how our Orcs are, and he took over her. First, he filtered the Ubis off, then he killed any Orcs that didn't agree with him. While Thraka was claiming the planet, the star we swung around with a right funny color light. It was going to blow if you ask me, but Gaskar wasn't bothered. He said that Urk was just the start, and Gork could lend us his ship. So he did. World Killer appeared in the sky. A big old hulk with plenty of room for all the boys in our gear. Any boy who didn't believe Thraka before, did they? We pulled it up to the hulk. We just didn't know where we were going, but Gaskell did. To war, he said. We're going to war! Alright, hello everyone, this is the Cry and Shame bringing you today Armageddon the Dorks. Quick little adjustment. Everything looks to be good though. Go ahead and jump on in. Alrighty. So, let's just jump on into this campaign. It's Tutorial back up orcs and arc one two well, it's okay before invasion of Armageddon orcs forces were united by gas call Thraka on the planet Urk on the base of the combat and gameplay and prologue campaign okay fuck for undo uh, I guess it's undo actions you didn't like cry I just let me do capital letters Oop. all right you got that in gear. We's got a job to do. You're with me. Together, me and the boys gonna go and smash that Yumi base up real good. Should be a right laugh. Now you take the boys one way, and I'll take my mobs the other way, and that'll confuse the Yumi's all right. Now get your choppers and your shooters ready. Let's go make some Dekka! All right. <clears throat> Turn okay, so this is uh macro scale looks like. Next side, you'll are equipped with a mixed force of units, capture all victory hexes. Hex objective, but these little things here, I guess. These marked here. Your first one for the armor again missions tutorial will teach you everything you need to know to enjoy the game. Read the instructions and close the message box. Okay. All the action takes place in tactical map, which uh, covers most of the screen. This is where the units move and attack at your command. Region of Orcus forces. Scroll the map. Uh, move the cursor edge to the screen. The map will automatically scroll in that direction. You can drag the map. Single holding the left mouse button. Use arrow keys. Main map to drop the location. Okay. Your borders. Click with left mouse and then. Click units. Okay. So I select a guy. Okay, little dots of where they can move to. Okay, every unit will make one move, one attack per turn. Units remaining actions are indicated by a small icon about the strength. It's strength plate. Okay, I guess that's strength plate, and that's the uh, move and attack. Okay. Let me click on one of the highlighted designated hexes to attack an enemy. Click on one of the target highlighted on the map. After a unit has moved, you can undo its move and choose different destination as long as the unit has not discover any previously hidden enemy units to do this use undo move ui sidebar confirm that it's like chain attack okay choose the direction they go in as well as obviously water of some sort yeah it's passed through that doesn't seem to pass through that either these are slugger boys attack squids horn squids Many of the work okay, again have several up to three different weapons. When planning your attacks, it's very important to consider your weapons a unit has. All units' weapons are listed in the UI sidebar along with their stats, range, attack, strike, armor, piercing, 
We initiate an attack, the unit will fire and all of its weapons that are in range. The rest of the weapons remain unused for the turn. Okay, so that's these guys here. What's the undo? If I click on this guy. Purchase, mission objective, next unit, previous unit, sleep. Because that would be the undo, but obviously it's not there. Okay. So this is a... Bone breaker? No idea what that is. Nothing was revealed. Like certain fog of war was revealed, but like nothing was actually revealed. So I would think you can go back, but apparently you can't. Unit list, reserve list, killed units, big map. Can I take actions? No, I can't take actions like that. Interesting. With the boys up. Animations are lackluster, but I mean that's just not a big deal. Uh, one to four, one to three. So one, two, three. I want to move up. Attack. Twenty-nine strength. Let's go into the forest for some cover. Attack. Here, and attack. All right. This is very turn based strategy like. Our units have moved. Press end turn. Okay. All right. Create more units. I wonder. End turn in the beginning. Right there. Right in the center. Gotcha. Zooming the map. You can zoom in the map in and out. Mouse wheel. Also, press the strategic map button to get an overview of the entire map, which is useful in planning your strategy. Okay. Scroll's a little slow, but I mean, it's not too bad. Congratulations, you've captured the first victory hex. You can capture all victory hexes on the map to win the mission. Substructures in the battlefield, such as trenches and fortifications, are specifically constructed to withstand enemy attacks. In addition to their normal cover readings, they also provide a defense bonus to units taking shelter there. You can see the properties of the terrain, including the defense bonus in the UI sidebar. What's this mean? What is this? Assault? Variance? Hit point strength. Okay. That it kind of tells you like what you can expect from it. Okay. Neo was damaged in the last combat and strength is currently below maximum. This makes it less effective in combat and more vulnerable to enemy attacks. In order to replace the, the losses, use the replenish replenishments button. That takes an entire turn and costs some requisition points. Press and refit. Replenishments. Okay. I actually want him to move up. I know I can do that, but I don't need to do that right now, so we're not going to do that. So one to two, so one, two. Uh, the hex grid on this needs to be a little more noticeable to make proper decisions. Uh, is there a way to turn that on in the settings, maybe? Map grid. Soft. Back to menu. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about. I can make proper decisions on the hex grid. One, two. I can fire, and they can't. That's what we're gonna work with here. We got that spot there. Can I make units? Promises. This is the first time you view the purchase screen. You still have for recruiting additional units, but also to review all the unit types available in the scenario. Check on their stats. Unless you see two important properties affecting the ability to purchase units, 
the requisition points and the unit slots. Every unit type has an assorted cost. You need to have enough requisition points to recruit it. Unit slots show the number of additional units uh, you can have in a given scenario. As you recruit units in the slot, the uh, slots disappear and units until you lose units you cannot recruit. On the left you can also select factions and class on these purchases. Okay. Second here. Getting some uh, Discord pings and my... I'm not the streamer mode moment. I'm going to enable that so it stops doing that. Alright. Units in the list can be active or grayed out. Uh, grayed out units cannot be recruited because you cannot afford them and, or have no slots. You can still select and review its stats. Select unit can be equipped with a transport. Viewable transport options are shown underneath of reviewing the stats purchase button. Okay. Your ability to purchase units is not unlimited. The number of units cannot exceed the number of core slots shown next to the requisition points purchase screen. Choose your core slots wisely. Thank you. Because it's all greed out. Then I can purchase anything. Slots, acquisition points. So I have no slots right now. Okay. Uh, have any more units? Nope, oh, looks it all good. And turn. I'm going to automatically save the game every turn. You end to a temporary autosave file. The file will be over it each time you end your turn. You can load the save from the mission menu from or from the main menu. You also manually save your game anytime from the mission. Okay. So they didn't fire at him. Um, oh, your morale has dropped below maximum and it's become less effective. Morale is indicated the color by the color of the unit strength number. All the creases in combat and can be restored by using a rest and a refit command. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and point out the fact that once again, I am colorblind and using colors to indicate anything doesn't work for me. So there's that. Alright, let's go ahead here. So this guy can only shoot uh, two spaces, right? For the last gun. Okay, deselect it. Well, it's got one of the two spaces, so one and two. He can shoot one to four with the cannon. Yeah, so we're going to move one here. Fire. Knock a hit. Zero damage. You missed! Alright. Two. Take a free shot at them. A lot of strength. 39 strength there. And one to two on that end. One to one. What does it chop us? So yeah, it's really short range here. It's one to four. One, two, three, four. So three here. Mm. One strike remaining. Keep mind that almost any unit will perform decently when attacking in between targets in open terrain. Only assault units can quickly and significantly damage enemies in cover. What determines assault unit versus non assault unit? Let's have these replenish. Uh, we'll use these to back. Oh, can't make it. Move these guys up. No, they didn't move. Why would it not let me select it earlier? That's a pain. Alright. Turn. Select units are superior at clearing out entrenched enemy infantry. Because their assault attacks ignore all terrain protective bonuses. Okay, but what tells you their assault? That's what I'm asking. Like, so I play Warhammer 40k and everything, so I know Burna Boys are the uh, go to assault weapon. I know that. But nothing in the game seems to indicate 
That's what those are. The burner weapons are the assault weapon, and therefore you want to use it for assault. Nothing tells you that. Like, after extended fire for the enemy unit, assaulting, assaulting unit will enter enemy, disengage in close combat and complete cover. Okay. Well, they didn't, well, he didn't win the fight. It doesn't change, it's, they all have that. So once again, it doesn't tell you. Are all of these assault except for this one? Is that what it is? And why was it when he defeated them that he not move into it then? Again, yeah, don't know. No idea. Take that one, I guess. Uh, take that space. Do I need someone here to hold this to win? Like there, there, and there, I thought it is. How's this supposed to work? This is considered mine because there's a little hex there. That, that's what it is. These are mine because I control them because that little symbol's there. Probably what it is. Let's take a look over here. I don't know how to die, it's fine. Attack! Alrighty. Move. Next unit. Guys there. Uh, one, two, three. Fire. Next unit. This is three as well. Alright. Looks like all, all my units. Ten turn. Turn. Swing around, attack. A lot of damage, actually. A lot of damage on that one. In range. Enemy has range of your weapons, but you cannot attack it. It's because the line of sight is blocked by high terrain. You can see the various properties of terrain, including effect of line of sight and UI. Yeah. Um, big shoot. So these are just cannons. Is artillery that can fire over line of sight? These are all cannons, though, so I don't know how artillery looks like. It's fine. The burners over there. Death crusher. Here's some blades, so. Close range, get all the attacks in. Now, assault would mean they would move in, right? But they don't do it. See? Well, I guess, I guess these can't move in there. It has to be inventory. Let's explain this quick earlier, though. Not moving in. What do these do? Factories? They do anything? That's cover and stuff. Okay. Enter. Okay, so this one should theoretically go into that position. I have to click on it. I have to use the movement to move into that position. So, no, not the case. Oh, there's more down here. Okay. Thought I was done. This is not. Ooh, that's a flame man. He's dead, but yeah, that hurt. There's four strength. So infantry would have hard making on the enemy Paris vehicles it is a prime target for vehicles and powerful but low rate of fire weapons. Okay. Next turn. Hmm. These guys are going to 
morale plus three. What's the morale? Because morale is only shown as this coloration, no actual number for morale. <sighs> Experience. Yeah, I'm not a fan of of that. Of it, like, not showing some other indication. So I can tell it's red, or at least a reddish color, and this is like a yellowish color, this is white. So, like, if there's only three tiers, I guess it technically works for me, but, like, that is a terrible way. Color should assist, not be the only indicator. So that is, that is a fail in my book. Rest. Rest. And just gain level, gain a level of improved performance and gain experience when they, when they fight. 100 points of experience gain another, uh, give another experience level. Experience levels are indicated to the full skulls on the UI. Okay, there you go, full skull. Cool. What does that do? Doesn't say. What does gaining a level do? I assume makes them stronger from other games, but I shouldn't make assumptions on this game from other games. Replenish, replenish. Okay, should be everybody. Can't look at anybody, right? Cool. Enter. Strength. Maxed out now. We're good there. Uh, is there plus nine, plus nine more morale? Cool. Where's the morale number? Don't have one of those. It's just a coloration. So obviously I'm not filled in morale, but obviously not down because it has white. Where's the indicator? Experience, hit points, no morale indicator. So yeah, not a fan of that design at all. That's that's not white, but then it's not the orangey color it was earlier. Once again, coloration really bad. This looks similar to the orange, and I would not at a glance tell the difference. I only saw, saw the difference when I hit the button that I saw it changed a, a coloration. It's, uh, such a bad design. Color should not be the only indicator for any game ever. Move up. Move up. Anti-tank gun. So we're going to not attack it with the tank. And take it out. Like that. Yeah, they got wrecked in that fight. Go ahead and move on up. Oh, this is a uh, death roll. Yeah, so we don't have a close combat attack. Enter. there take them out can I capture no I can't capture yep not the use unit take it after all the taxes your opponent gets one chance to capture them back in this scenario you need to hold them for your next turn that's fine but the problem is um what opponent <laughs> okay, this is an interesting map. It's very simple design, but I, I think I think we're fan. You're learning fast. Not bad for a fungus brain. But we're gonna need some heavier stuff to take that final Yumi positions. So get ready to use that head of yours and think quick. If you can't handle it. I'm sure you can still make use of that head of yours and bash it against the human defenses! <laughs> okay. In this exercise, you'll be fighting against Imperial units who 
are often defended by supporting fire units. Your objective is to capture all enemy health victory hexes. Before each mission, you allocate a certain number of acquisition points. Acquisition points can be used to purchase more units for your core army. The number of points you get does not depend on your past performance, but reflects difficulty and scale of the upcoming battle. <clears throat> Press purchase button in the UI to buy units for your core army. Okay, so I'm going to get up here, hit air there, and this fortification here. So trenches, okay. Got my experience guys back on there, right? <clears throat> these count as part of my purchase? Put these guys down? Guess they would. And you can undeploy units and place it back in reserve list anytime during the deployment phase. To do this, just click on the deployed unit. Okay. This is my burner boys. Put those there. Kill crush it, I'll go there. Anything I can purchase? Think boys. Just more of the same. Burner boys, slugger boys, knobs with choppers. Yeah, how many knobs do I? Slugger boys. Nope, I don't have any knobs. What knobs cost me? No transports. Okay. Do knobs with choppers. Frontline. Do squigs. Uh, how many core points do I have? Slots zero. Position points. Oh, wait, I've already done already. Is that what happened? Games that way. All right, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. I have one one vehicle, but this should be interesting. This unit is a command unit. Oh. Designated by leadership special trait. At the beginning of each turn, it will increase the morale of friendly units around it. Use command units to restore morale on your troops quickly. Oh, okay. Seems I've chosen. <clears throat> Most scenarios, the goal is to capture and hold victory hexes. These hexes are marked with a golden border. This should have been told last time. The ownership of the victory hexes is indicated by the icon aside. It should have been noted last time. Normally, victory hexes are marked with the golden emblem. Your opponents will be gray emblem. You capture victory. X move his side notes the ownership will not change until you confirm the move. Okay, if that looks golden to me, I don't control it. So meh. That doesn't look golden to me. That looks golden to me. So it looks like someone written so wrote something before and then changed it later on and then didn't update what they wrote. Just saying. Maybe I'm thinking to pick you. Oh, well, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> you know, nicely though. Move here. I got that. <clears throat> Take out those guys. Move up. Get here. Didn't do anything. Got hit back though, but didn't do anything. Okay. That's a pain. You received some reinforcements. In some missions, you're able to earn reinforcement units by completing bonus objectives. Okay. More good not. Okay. Well, I can't use them this turn, it looks like. Cover there. Trench. Trench has all the cover. Still there. Okay. Yeah. Kill them, please. Take that position. Fire. Yeah, those trenches are really saving them. Their defense value is great for that. Makes sense. Yeah. 
not take a hit from that either. Same reason. So is my tank getting cover from the Christmas? Is that what's happening right now? Because that's kind of um, hilarious. Shouldn't really happen, honestly. Note the effectiveness of support units when in defense in a defense role. Try not to engage enemy unit until adjacent supporting units are defeated first. Okay. Well, let's move this up. One of three, one of three. Yep. Animation, not a huge fan of. A little like luster. I would like to actually like launch across, like, see it, like aim at them, launch across, and hit them. That's what I prefer to see. Got those guys. Up here. And turn hit. See the morale's increased because they have a leader unit next to them. These recover every turn. Ooh. Uh, that was not the greatest move I could have done. See the damage right there. Uh, looks like the auto cannon heavy boulder is not going to do much against this, so this would be an easy target. Yep, nothing. Out of range on that one. Let's see, it's this weapon here is one to three, so one, two, three. So yeah, I'd be out of range on that one. Uh, one damage, 33% accuracy. Let's be a little better. Hit target. How's this one work if I go? Yeah, it doesn't really show information on that, which is a little disappointing be able to see possible information on that one. Go here. Strike there. Right there. Up. Maybe the attack here. Move up. Yeah, it would take a lot of damage from that attack there. Not so much from there. Would do a chunk of damage on that though. Go for that route then. Using the strength of that one solidly. Burner's not gonna be able to make it, so I'll jump in there. Move him up for recovery on those two. Recovery on that one. I don't think we can purchase anything, right? Yeah. Turn. One third of the way through this match already. One fifteen turns. Turn it back out. Big chop, a big chop, a big chop. Okay. You're a little weakened, still have this one come up. Do the attack. Let's do this minus ten minus four. We should kill him then. Or not. There we go. Scoot here. Move forward, attack, take that out. Your full strengths. Let's move you over here. You taking some hits, heal up. Um, move you over there. Position. Should be everyone. Next turn. Ooh. We need to cover. Burn them. Here. Uh, 
here. Take that out. Did way too much damage. going down it wasn't even touched no damage has been dealt why have her go down it's a weird thing Ooh. big boy sitting there this one needs to not be there that's what this is it's not part of that fight yeah we still sit down to that one Go down right there. Take them out, please. Not quite. Finish that one out. Yeah. About that. It's gonna take it out in just a second. We're gonna need this guy to move up. One, two, three, four. Can't see that location though. Take a shot. Don't like that. Alright, in turn. Yep. That's really deadly. That position. All right. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything to that one. That's so so much damage on that one for infantry units. Claws need to get in there. That's what I need to do. There we go. Still standing. Can attack. Wait. Okay. Can attack this enemy unit, but the unit's line of sight is partially blocked by high terrain. This attack will be less effective because your firing accuracy is reduced by blocking terrain. I'm not really attacking that one though. He dead? He's still there. Ah, oh, he's still there. He's taking a lot of damage, but he's still very much there. There we go. Now he's taken out. Uh, these guys need to... Ooh, they're back to full. Nice. They're some very useful units. If they can back to full like that really easily. Block line of sight. Doesn't block line of sight. What terrain then was being covered here? I'm confused. I really don't know what terrain was being covered. I'm rather confused about that. Is there someone over here that I could target technically? Is that what, what's going on? Like, I don't understand what's going on there. That was really weird. Alright, move these guys up. Enter. Works. boys go there actually undo that you can go there you need to regain your strength regain strength kill them regain strength they killed them rest up all right Get some more turns Ooh, snipers let's rush in there boys I claim to see me bikes and I'm gonna What? 
Without, like, this, this is a prologue before the story I mentioned earlier. So that was him claiming the base and then getting shot. Claiming this territory and then getting shot. That's what basically, my understanding is what just happened there. Sometimes not only have maximum range, but also minimum range units with such weapons are better attacked from close range. Yeah, like this one here, for instance. Ooh. Is that like covering fire? Is that, a, is that what these like, abilities have? Can I, can I see the unit? There we go. Flurry. Support. Yeah. Rotations friendly support. Yeah, that's what it is. These support units do supporting fire when they get attacked. The allies get attacked. Attack here. Can I take that out? Or am I going to have to take an extra hit? Heal up. What I have to do for now. I have to do a rest. Okay, next unit. Get down here. Get them up. Any other units? Nope. Okay. And turn. Getting pretty close to King Margo. Ooh, we're getting sniped from over here. Not important. Once get there, though. Attack there. Move here. Attack there. Take that out. Uh. Attack here, attack here. Move. Oh, it's whatever. Uh, move up. Take a shot. Up. Good boys. Gear thing. Ooh, boarding fire. Nice. With the shift attack there next. I need some scout units to kind of like see areas. Smooth, Roy. Okay, still survives. <laughs> Take cannon shot. Move, attack, move, attack. Move, attack. Move, attack. Move, attack. And take control. Move, we got supporting fire right there. Like units has been stuck to supporting fire, certain units mark with support. Trait. I have the ability to protect adjacent friendly units from the attacks firing from attacker before a main combat is resolved. When selected, are you attacking him? Support marked on the map. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Kind of figured that out. Come turn. Victory. Alright. So I'm actually liking this. I think this is a pretty solid design game. Um, all the information is there. Uh, there's another game I played before. Uh, Future Wars did a recording earlier today for that one actually. Um, not sure when really to show these videos, but that did not show the information. This one does. It keeps active, shows it right in front of your face. The only stipulation that I have at all that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that the morale is only indicated by color and color alone. That is the only thing. Besides that, however, everything else looks good. I'm a fan. Um, this might be one of those ones I come back and play with and have fun with and maybe do a full video series. I don't know. These are ones I like. I like this one. Every one that I like, I will go to be like, I want to do a video series for it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, um, I'm a fan of this. I do like the design. I like the feel of it. Uh, animations are a little lackluster, but it is a very simply designed game. So the animations weren't truly needed to bring out the game. So I'm a fan. Uh, this is a crying shame. Signing out. So long, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to get notifications, make sure to hit that bell. 
can also check out our website for more information on different games. If you would like to support us, check out our Patreon page for more information on how to do so.